everyone hope you didn't miss last week's video where we actually told you all about our drone issues and Blaine had the pleasure of going swimming hey everyone we're the Carmina family from Victoria BC Canada last year we decided it would be a great idea to move on to a boat but not just any boat we found a 1969 Stevens Brothers aluminum boat that needed a lot and I mean a lot of love of course we decided it'd be fun to make all the repairs and do the refit ourselves after 19 years of marriage, this may be the end of us. Join us on our adventures cruise in the Pacific Northwest and getting Tango Rotor ready for a massive trip around the world. So, Iz, where are we going tonight? Um, nowhere! Nowhere. Out to the boat! That was, that was a trick question. Yeah. What do you want to do on the boat? Uh, paint rocks. Should we paint some rocks tonight? Yeah. That'd be fun, eh? And have dinner. Yeah, definitely. And where are we going to leave our rocks? Um, anywhere. Well, where are we going tomorrow? Do you remember? We're going to Pirate's Cove. So can we leave the rocks on Pirate's Cove? Yeah. That'd be fun. Yeah. Cool. This is what we're doing tonight. We are painting rocks. Let's see is you hold it up to the camera. Bring it closer to the camera over here. <gasps> over here. Okay. Oh, hold on. Oh. That's beautiful. So I think we posted up an old video. Uh, we picked up a new satellite compass. Decided I haven't had a chance to get it up just yet. So I, I haven't properly mounted it. But I wanted to test it because we're going to Pirate's Cove this weekend. So I uh, just want to show you my uh, super uh, awesome temporary install here. Yeah! Look at that. This is not a Fruno approved mounting, by the way. This is purely a temporary put it on. And then eventually going to be right here. But I have to drill a hole in my repaired mast and feed the wires down through, which is going to be fun. The next morning after picking up Josh, it was time to start the engines and drop the mooring lines. This time it was Izzy's turn to drop them. talk the rest of our COVID bubble into coming with us to Pirate's Cove. So the good thing is we are going a lot faster because our bottom is cleaned. It's awesome. Wait, I'll let Blaine tell you how much faster. What's the difference about getting your bottom cleaned? Uh, last time we went on a trip uh, to Salt Spring, we were doing uh, 9.3 knots at about 1500 RPM. Now we're doing 9 knots at 1100 RPM. Oh, it's such a difference. Yeah. That's why you have to get your bottom cleaned. Looking forward to seeing how it is after the boat though. So this is kind of cool. I don't know if you can see the boat. Let me, it's backwards here. Um, over here, this is called Red Z1. It's a semi-submersible heavy carrier. But Blaine and I actually got to spend six weeks on board Dock Express, which is very similar to that, which meant the freighter we were on actually sunk and the boat we were working on drove onto the freighter and then it took hours with divers underneath to chalk us up and it's, it took all the water out and that's how we got across the Atlantic Ocean one time. Just like that. It looks kind of weird because the boat is half sunk but that's Red Z1 and I have to say we had so much fun on Dock Express. Seriously, six weeks living on a mega yacht on board a freighter. Even went through the Panama Canal. It was so cool. Every so often, Blaine goes to the engine room and then he goes outside and just stands on the bow and looks. He surveys his domain, checking to make sure everything's good. that I could 
be brave Is there anything good on the radio? Turn it up loud and let me know How we used to be Before anyone heard of you and me Ooh. I'm feeling good, I'm feeling great Running out of town just to celebrate My fortune's here to stay A one-way ticket to a better day A rocking chair and a glass of wine So we're just coming through Ruxton Passage. This guy was coming through. I have no clue what he's doing right now. He just took a huge 90 degree turn to port and is crossing our bow. So we just came in, to a stop. In the middle of the passage. In the middle of channel, he stopped. <coughs> oh, because there's sea lions on the starboard side. Hey? He has to go see the sea lions, Blaine. Yeah, it's crossing from another boat entering a narrow passage. You mean, isn't that safe? So this is what we're going to go into here. We're just lining up the cross and the X over there. And then we're going to head on in. There's a few boats in there, but I think there's room for us. And we're probably stern tied to shore. marker on starboard side. Actually make that eight feet. Yeah, right up in there, Josh. That'd be great. Maggie, come. That's what happens when your dog jumps into the tender. <laughs> Izzy, give her give him some slack. Maggie, at no. So this is called putting a stern line to shore. We do this a lot in the Pacific Northwest just because it's mostly fjords. So Blaine's got the line. Sometimes we loop it through, sometimes we have a shackle on that end. Right now he's got the shackle. So Maggie, Maggie went on a bit of a runabout around the island and Josh has been looking for her for the past oh, five minutes or so. <laughs> and she's just been chilling at the tender. He says, I'm ready to go now. I'm done my runabout. That's too funny. <laughs> <laughs> After we were firmly anchored, it was time for Krista and Dave to come on in in our time and raft up next to us.
nights, both boats were set, and we were quite happy with how everything was. We headed to shore to explore. Limbo is limbo. Or just be my height. <laughs> Okay, this... Wait, what about the dog? Uh, we, don't have, we don't have a leash for her. <laughs> You're right. I'm sure you'll be fine. I'm sure she'll be fine. Okay, this dock design for the dinghy is amazing. That's so smart, doing the 12-sided, just because then boats don't dock up to it and there's actually room for dinghies. But that is brilliant. Look at that plane. Okay. I want to do it. <laughs> You've got... Yeah, who's got the bow line, Izzy? Oh, backwards. Or not. <laughs> Wham. Provincial Marine Park. It's the pirate booty. Arr! Look at that. And books. Hey. Izzy, look at this. Look at the bracelets people left. Huh. People leave a lot. There's some here. painted rocks. I like these. Yeah, we can take one as a memento and we'll this leave one? some rocks tomorrow. This one's like shiny. This one. This one's the one. That's the one? Yeah. Oh, it's so pretty. Don't you worry now, don't you worry now, all this will end. Don't you worry now, don't you worry now, my love. After pretending to get instructions from Krista, we are off to okay. get some oysters. Sounds good. You're such a shit. Go get him. Mine keeps hitting there. <laughs> oh, fail. Hello, you can still use it. Hmm? But that's a good learning lesson. They're very tight on there. They are tight on there. Okay. I've got two of these, are huge. How am I already bleeding? Okay, well, we're both bleeding now. Let's see your finger. Oh, I just wiped it off. I'm oh, good. it's all. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like dripping blood yeah, all over. No it. problem. And we have a bucket full of oysters. We're hunters and gatherers. <laughs> Although I guess this is gathering, really. This we are hunting. This gathering. is just gather. Yeah. We are gatherers. Okay. Okay, to be perfectly honest about this, we are not pros about getting oysters in Pacific Northwest. Like, not at all. I'm bleeding. We have what we think are oysters, but we're gonna try them on the barbecue. So I just started the barbecue, and I think the consensus is we're gonna just take it as is, like this, and just chuck it on the barbecue and see what happens. Usually they cook and they pop open, so we'll see what happens. I don't know. 
Stay tuned, it's gonna be interesting. Okay, I'm not sure what to do with this, but the thing is huge. Look at this compared to my fingers. It is insane how big this oyster is. I'm gonna go show it to dad, figure out what he wants to do with it. I'm not really him. sure what to do with this thing. <laughs> oh Lord, is it gross? Like Can we good. look for pearls? It's <laughs> massively large. Yeah. Can we look for pearls? Like, look how big it is! Oh. Is it any good? Mm -hmm. Is there any pearls in it? Is it really good? Oh yeah, god. Right. No. I don't. It's not for me. <laughs> no. Uh. No, 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 no. So I took a hammer to it. There's one there. I'm gonna try it. Are you ready? Don't take a hammer to it, you get real shell bits. But it's really good. Yeah, that's an oyster. Yum. Whoa. Looking for the pearls. We eat them with yeah. tequila. Tabasco, lemon, and horseradish. Horseradish. Tequila <laughs> makes any oyster taste good. Yeah. Uh, that's a lot of tequila. That was more than I thought, but well, I'll be okay. The oysters weren't quite enough to feed everybody, so we had some burgers and we threw down the crab chops. <laughs> what? One crab. One little crabby. That's about to fall off. Well, he's a tiny little crabby too. He's about to get out. He's out! <laughs> I'll get him. Ah! Well, yeah, because I'm filming. Ah. Ah! Ouch, ouch, ouch! <laughs> Don't miss part two next week as we learn all about who Brother 12 is and his gold treasure.